In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Richmond. At number one, we have the Metro Richmond Zoo. This zoo is home to nearly 200 unique animal species, providing a glimpse into the diverse habitats and behaviors of the animal kingdom. From monkeys to lions to pythons, the zoo offers a fascinating exploration of wildlife. The zoo also plays a significant role in the conservation of endangered species, making it a hub of environmental education and awareness. At number two, we have the American Civil War Museum. This museum is a treasure trove of historical artifacts and exhibits that shed light on the American Civil War. It comprises three parts, the museum itself, the White House of the Confederacy, and the Museum of the Confederacy. Each section offers a unique perspective on the Civil War, making it a must-visit for history enthusiasts. At number three, we have the Hardywood Park Craft Brewery. This local brewery is a testament to Richmond's love for craft beer. Visitors can learn about the brewing process and sample a variety of brews under the Hardywood Park name. The brewery also hosts special events like concerts, making it a vibrant hub of local culture and community. At number four, we have the Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. This expansive botanical garden is home to a variety of specific gardens, each with its unique appearance. From the Cherry Tree Walk to the Asian Valley, visitors can immerse themselves in the diverse beauty of plant life. At number five, we have the Armor House and Gardens at Meadowview Park. This historic site was once the observation point for Confederate General Robert E. Lee during the Seven Days Battle. Today it offers serene hiking trails, beautiful flower displays, and the soothing sounds of fountains. At number six, we have the RVA Trolley. This public transit option offers a unique way to explore Richmond. The trolley not only provides transportation, but also offers guided tours that highlight the city's rich history. At number seven, we have the Edgar Allan Poe Museum. This museum honors the life and works of the famous author. It houses a collection of original written works and other artifacts from Poe's life, offering a unique insight into the mind of this literary genius. At number eight, we have Agecroft Hall. This manor is a beautiful representation of Elizabethan architecture. Originally part of the English town of Lancashire, it was disassembled, shipped overseas, and rebuilt in Richmond, making it a unique piece of history. At number nine, we have the Short Pump Town Center. This shopping and entertainment complex offers a wide range of stores and dining options. From Mexican to Italian to Vietnamese cuisines, visitors can enjoy a culinary journey around the world. At number 10, we have the Maymont Children's Barn and Nature Center. This educational attraction offers families the opportunity to learn about nature, from animals to plants. It features a mansion, beautiful flowers, and a variety of animals, making it a great place for a family outing. At number 11, we have the Richmond National Battlefield Park. This park covers 13 distinct battle areas and provides a comprehensive understanding of Virginia's role in the Civil War. It also houses a museum that offers lectures and special events. At number 12, we have Belle Isle. This island offers a tranquil escape from the city's hustle and bustle. Visitors can relax on the comfortable rocks, hike or bike, all while enjoying the island's unspoiled beauty. At number 13, we have Chickahominy Bluff. This historic site was a critical point during the Civil War. Today, visitors can see remnants of earthworks and learn about the seven days battle that took place here. At number 14, we have the Riverfront Canal Walk. This walkway along the James River offers a glimpse into 400 years of Richmond's history. It features beautiful statues and historical sites, making it a great place to learn about the city's past. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Richmond. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.